good morning. This is where we stayed last night. We've woken up this morning to slightly overcast, damp weather. I'll give you a quick look around where we were. It's not a bad spot. It was good yesterday after we had all that chainsawing to do in 30 degree, 34 degree heat. So anyway, let's give you a quick look. Some of the camps already packed up. This is where Adam and Kath camped. We were next door. This was a little bit interesting, but it was doable. I already packed the camper up. And this is a campground called Goon Garak Campground. And yesterday, because we were bloody melting, oh, really? we had a swim in this. Yeah. I didn't film it, but that there is cold as. <laughs> uh, 34 degrees, we jumped in there and it was bloody freezing. Right, so that's a very quick look at roughly where we camped. It's a nice spot. There is a few others camped down here. A few less leaders over there. And Matt and Kerry are hiding over here under the gazebo. So that was pretty well where we camped last night. Well, we've left Goongara, I think it's Goongara Creek Campground this morning. And we're in uh, a touring trip, of course. So we were maybe going to do some more four wheel drivey tracks today, but as it happens, uh, there's been a bit of rain and rivers are up and stuff, so we're probably going to do the more. Um, naturally graded or nicer dirt roads today. We're still in places we've never been, so it's pretty good, but some of the tracks that might have been needed low range might be a bit unpleasant at the present time, especially towing. So uh, we're on the road, doing our thing, and uh, we'll show you what we can. But it's a bit difficult, because I don't want to spend all my time showing you footage from the camera looking at the windscreen so we'll get what we can as we go along all right we'll see you wherever the next one may be morning yeah. tea break on the side of the track been a bit a bit muddy and as you can tell, as the cars go on, that's the lead car. So it's the cleanest. And as we go further back, they get dirtier. And they just get dirtier. And dirtier. This is I didn't know if you were walking Oh I was walking up the And then they get Really did. That's the way you don't have to clean it. <laughs> like that, eh? Yeah, He's a bit dirty now. After a morning and early afternoon of not a lot of filming because it was raining and we were just driving on normal roads, we came to where we camped at Raymond Creek Falls and the weather got better. So that's a bonus. So there's a little car park there for when you come down and have a look at the falls. Over there's the campground, I'll show you that in a while. 
and it's a little walking trail to the falls. Now I guess when you come to a park and there's waterfalls, you should probably go and look at them. So Raymond Creek Falls, Snowy River National Park. Here's all the boards, tells you about it. So we're going to go for a walk down there and have a look at it. Oh, apparently, it's two k's or thereabouts return trip. So we've survived worse things in recent times. So why not give two k's a go? The sign 300 meters to the base of Raymond Creek Falls and the Snowy River 3.6. So it would look like we're at the top or something like that of the waterfall area. A lot of places to step. Looks quite good down that way. Much rage here after some major rain. Imagine all this with water flowing over it under all there. It'd be pretty hardcore. There you are, there's some falling water. It's quite pretty. Looks a bit brown, they've had a lot of rain lately, so probably a lot of soil and stuff in the water. But all this stuff I'm walking on, you can imagine when they've had some really big storms this would be like a raging bloody torrent across all this it all goes down through a bunch of water holes and further down we'll see what else we can find as always with these kind of walks to waterfalls there's going to be steps, isn't there? I think I'd learn. Drop a few kilos, Steve. Make doing this stuff a bit easier. Anyway, we'll get there. So, we have naturally occurring steps. Which is probably good, because I think I'd like to climb this without them. But holy crap, there's going to be some. And you have no option on the way back. So, you can see them down there. That's where we're going. We'll see when you get there. Alright, nearly there. Wasn't too bad a amount of steps. I'm not going to enjoy it on the way up, I won't lie. But here we are, coming down to the bottom. We get to see the falls properly. Uh, they're pretty good. Uh, not bad at all, though. Uh, perch myself on a rock. Take those in. And a, a nice big pool at the bottom here. Which as we're in Victoria, there won't be any crocs in it. Alright, I'm gonna just sit here and look at these and we'll see you in the wash.
Well, good morning. Here we are at Raymond Creek Falls Campground. And it's been raining all night. So, Kaz and I have packed our camper while on lure in their processes. Kath and Adam down there sorting themselves. Yeah, the, uh, the team leader is in his process, Tony and Janice. And Matt and Kerry are in their process. So, we're getting it all done slowly, but I didn't get to show you what it all looked like in the beginning, because, well, everybody's just doing what they can do in the rain, as you have to. So, we're probably going in 20 minutes, half hour, whatever it is. And we'll just see how we go as the day goes on. Hasn't been a lot of four-wheel driving, I can tell you about, because we've been mostly traveling forest roads. So there's really not a lot of point in uh, filming the fairly straightforward tracks. So I'm only showing you pretty well where, we, where we've been and where we're going. Well, we'll see in a while when there's something else I can show you. Well, we've left camp down at Raymond Creek Falls Campground where it was rainy and average. And we're heading out the forestry roads again. I believe we're heading to Orbost. So, we're going to go and have a look there. We may or may not be having an off day in Orbost or a down day. May stay there overnight I'm not sure but anyway uh, it's looking a little bit clearer which is nice the roads are uh, still pretty good so um, nice forestry roads so still not a lot to show you other than nice forestry roads so um, that's why I haven't filmed a lot of us driving because there hasn't been much to show Hopefully you're not minding uh, this series or this episode too much. But uh, yeah, when it's solid rain and the roads are pretty straightforward, there's nothing I could really film that's of exciting stuff for you guys when we're travelling on the road. So, and I'm sure you get sick of a dash cam footage, so we only do so much of that. Anyway, this is how it is. And we'll show you other stuff as we go otherwise you'll just get to see the locations we get to when we get there now for you know I'll be gone well we didn't do a lot more filming that day as you can see from the pictures, we had a morning tea, had a nice view, and then we arrived at All at the caravan park where we were going to be that night, and down to the pub for tea. So the next bit will be the next day. So anyway, that's how it goes sometimes. See you soon. Well, good morning. After very pleasant night at Orbost in the caravan park we're on the road again this morning now obviously there was no point in me filming the caravan park at Orbost it's a caravan park it's a very good one with excellent showers if you happen to be in Orbost and you do want to go to a caravan park we had tea at the pub 
Yeah, we've all seen what it's like eating dinners at pubs, so uh, I didn't film that. So uh, it's just unfortunate that the way this trip has gone, there's been a lot of stuff of hasn't been worth filming, so uh, I can show you what I'll show you, of course, but uh, at the present, I'm driving on a bitumen road slowly because my tyres are still down through the dirt we've been doing with more dirt to come so uh, we're not driving as quick as we could be anyhow that's not what I was getting at what I'm getting at is we had a great night at Orbost and, uh, chilled out just uh, sitting around uh, some of us got very wet the night before and uh, the guys in tents and stuff so uh, they were quite happy to have the motel overnight but me and Kaz and Adam and Kath, they, um, we, we've got campers, so we, we did the caravan park thing. So we had a pleasant night sitting around gas bag and uh, just generally having a couple of drinks and so on until bedtime. So this morning, just leisurely breakfast, pack up, get out, meet the trip leader again, and now we're on the road. So uh, that's the, uh, the story of what we're up to so far. Anyway, we will no doubt show you more in due course. We'll see you soon. See? Bitumen, told ya. Okay, where are we, Stevie? Fucking! It's a fucking good place! This is little Bucken. Nice little town amongst the uh, beautiful hills. The scenery was superb driving here. We've got little red lakes here. How they used to plow the uh, ground with their horses and stuff like that. Machinery of the good old days. back onto the dirt. <laughs> How awesome is this? I think we're 20k's out of bucking. We're back into the dirt in the mountains at 460 metres and climbing. And climbing. Nice. So, it's all very cool. Finally off the Silly tar. Yeah, we've done, I don't know, 90, 90 100 k's on tar today. I might not be that far, but it feels like it. But uh, back on the dirt. This is what we're here for.
Brian Tiny. Thank you, Stephen. Well, we continued up Mount Johnston Road for a while. The view is quite pleasant. As you'll see at a couple of still photos here at the end before we came down to a little bridge down near a river. And uh, just some nicely scenic stuff for you guys. So not a lot of hard stuff in it just yet. But uh, hope you're enjoying this clip. If you are, maybe chuck a subscribe on it or a like or both. All of these things help my channel, guys. Thanks a lot. Hope you're enjoying the clip. far off some Mount Johnson turn off. We went onto another road, its name escapes me. We come to this low level bridge and get a load of the height of that water. There's been a lot of rain in the high country. So this bridge is either close to going under or has been under recently and it's just recovered. Looks like it might have just been under. And of course, the two team leader has to play in it, doesn't she? She cannot help herself. Uh, it's quite pleasant, though. We're on the Bucken to Ensi Road. And we just crossed technically onto private property, but it's, a, it's allowed. But have a look at this view. What a beauty. If that's not almost classic high country views, I'm not sure what is. Especially for the pastoral part of it, not the usual mountains everyone looks at. That's pretty specky. We last see convoy, so we're closing the gate. But how good does that look? You gotta love the high country. cruising around in the high country now and we're well away from civilization and the, the fun-filled things of the modern world although you wouldn't think so because Matt's on the phone hey eh? you wouldn't think that could happen but anyway well, here we are we're at the intersection of Forktown Road with the five mile spur track which is the way we've just come up from the five mile spur track nice mountainous view rather pretty this is the rig this is how it's been looking so far it's a bit dusty and dirty that's what happens and here's the marlin now the marlin is handling very well it's really doing the job very well indeed so it survived everything we've thrown at it. So that's all good. Although, we have had an issue. I've just found that now. So I guess I'll be fixing that when I get down to the camp. So I don't think I'll be fixing it now. There you go. These things happen. Now here's... 
what uh, Adam and Kath's rig looks like at this point. And that's the fearless leader. You can tell he's at the front, it's much less dirty and dusty. This is your view, it's a little bit grown up, so a little bit hard to see it all. But uh, there is a view through the trees. When I come across to this side, you can see down into the valley. We're going to camp at a place called Deptford tonight, which is about you know, an hour or so away. So I don't hear you seeing that through the trees, but it's a pretty nice view down there. So that's what we're up to and what we're on about at this point in time. So I'll put this away and we'll have our, continue to have our little rest break and we'll show you more when there's more to show you. track and we found a water crossing as you do <laughs> so here we go get that out of the way here we go Well, after that river crossed, we arrived at the Deptford campground. So this little bit of footage is just a sped up version of us setting up the camper trailer. Uh, this will do us for this episode, guys. I hope you didn't mind it. As we've seen on this series so far, it's not a lot of hard stuff, but stay tuned for some more episodes. Things get a bit interesting down the track. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, put a like on it. it really helps the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing, and if you do subscribe, click the notification bell. Makes all the difference, uh, and you'll know when a new video comes up. And to the old hands, thanks again for taking the time of your day to watch one of our clips. And really do appreciate it, guys. You've got no idea. Uh, thanks very much for the support. Anyway, until next time. All the best, as we say here at Mud Ducks 4 Drive Touring, just get out there, enjoy the bush. And from Stephen Kaz, cheers from Mud Ducks 4 Drive Touring, and we will see you on the next one, guys. Cheers for now.